So we talked some about PCA, uh, about regression. We talked a few uh, a previous course. Um, and now we're going to talk about k-means. So there is something uh, similar between um, all of these methods, and that is that they're trying to give some kind of geometric uh, model of um, a cloud point, a point cloud. OK, so, um, so what is the root mean square that we're always trying to minimize? If we have some points, x1 to xn, and we have some approximations to these points, we want the square of the Euclidean distance between these points to be uh, minimized uh, when you take the average over all the points. And the square root is because we want to uh, undo the square here so it's in the same units as the original. So let's start with the PCA that we've just done um, a few um, videos ago. And uh, what we're doing here is we have a set of points in RD, and we're uh, finding the principal components. And then um, what that represents is that we're pa uh, finding a, a line that passes through the mean of the points. And when we're looking at approximations, we're basically projecting the points onto the line. So this line is projected here, this line is projected here, and these points on the line are the representations, are the approximations. And so by minimizing the, those errors, we get essentially PCA, or we can say PCA minimizes these errors. Okay? So every X is matched with an O, and then when we look at the sum of the, the, sum of the square distances, uh, we get the minimum when we use PCA. Regression does something a little different. In regression, we have an X and we have a Y, and we're trying to predict the Y from X. So again, we're looking for a line. But in this case, um, what we're uh, looking at is, pro is basically uh, just projecting on the, on in the uh, Y direction. Okay, so we're just going up or down to project the point. And that gives us these approximations. And then we want to minimize these approximations. Okay, so in this case, we're interested only in the Y value approximation. And so we will get a slightly different line. K-means clustering is similar um, in, in its um, approach, but the representation now is just a um, finite set of points. Instead of a line, we have just a finite set of points. And every other point in the data is mapped to the closest point. These points we call representatives or centroids. Minimizing the same root mean squared error. So that brings us to the k-means algorithm which is an attempt, not fully successful, but an attempt to minimize, to find the minimum um, of the RMSE um, for a given number of centroids. So K is the number of centroids. And the way that uh, the algorithm works is that it iterates between two steps. In step A, um, we associate each point with the closest representative to it. And at step B, we replace each representative with the mean of the points that are assigned to it or associated with it, okay? So this, this is repeated um, until convergence, and convergence always occurs. So here is an example of a run of k-means. We start by these two representatives over here that are clearly both on the same cluster. And then we see that the representative, the red one, um, basically is closer to all of these red points. So therefore, in the next iteration, it's going to be much closer to these red points. And the green uh, cross will be closer to, this, to the points in this cluster. Then after another iteration, we basically have the green in the center of the green points and the red in the center of the red points. And from there on, things will not change, okay? So the algorithm actually converges very quickly. So to summarize, 
PCA and regression find a line or hyperplane that is close to the data points, and k-means finds a set of points called representatives such that each data point has a close-by representative. And the k-means algorithm finds a local minimum. It finds basically a place where things don't improve anymore, but it might not find the global uh, minimum. And we'll talk about that in more detail um, in a few slides. So I'll see you next time.